In the annals of medical history lies a peculiar case that has baffled scientists and researchers for decades. Elizabeth Lamb, a young woman living in 19th century Michigan, presented a bewildering array of symptoms that defied medical diagnosis. Lamb's condition began with a mysterious paralysis that gradually spread throughout her body, leaving her bedridden and unable to speak. Doctors were puzzled. Her muscles remained intact, but she lacked control over them. As the paralysis progressed, Lamb developed involuntary movements and bizarre contortions. Adding to the enigma, Lamb's emotional state fluctuated drastically. She would experience periods of intense laughter and weeping without any apparent provocation. Her speech was often incoherent, filled with garbled words and nonsensical phrases. Doctors suspected a neurological disorder, but every test returned inconclusive. They prescribed a litany of treatments, from bloodletting to electric shock therapy, with no improvement. Lamb's condition became so severe that she was confined to an asylum. In a twist of fate, a young neurologist named Dr. Sealers Weir Mitchell took on the case. Mitchell, known for his innovative approaches, believed that Lamb's symptoms may have a psychological origin. He began treating her with a combination of rest, massage, and electrotherapy. To Mitchell's astonishment, Lamb's condition slowly began to improve. Over time, she regained some mobility and her mental state stabilized. However, she remained partially paralyzed and unable to speak. The case of Elizabeth Lamb remains a medical mystery. Some scholars speculate that she may have suffered from a conversion disorder where psychological stressors manifest as physical symptoms. Others suggest a rare neurological condition that has yet to be fully understood. Despite the lack of a definitive diagnosis, Elizabeth Lamb's story serves as a testament to the complexities of the human mind and the enduring challenges faced by medical practitioners in unraveling the enigmatic tapestry of our bodies and minds.